Hello friends, welcome to Sharachandra Ayas Academy. In this session, we will discuss some of the questions asked previously in UPSC prelims exam on polity. The first question, which one of the following in Indian polity is an essential future that indicates that it is a federal in character? So, which one of the following features indicates the federal character of Indian polity? So, the question is on futures of Indian Federation. The independence of judiciary is safeguarded. The union legislature has elected uh, representatives from constituent units. The union cabinet can have elected representatives from regional parties. The fundamental rights are enforceable by court of law. So, which one of these will indicate the federal character of Indian polity? So, which of them is a future of federation? So, the answer is the independent judiciary, right? So, independent judiciary is essential, right? To safeguard a written constitution, to safeguard the center and state relations, to have an efficient uh, resolution of disputes between center and states so for this reason right independent judiciary is regarded as an important feature of a federal system so our constitution has provided an independent judiciary that is right there are uh, clear provisions which safeguards the salaries and allowances the conditions of service of judges of supreme court Right. So, the salaries and allowances of judges of Supreme Court as well as the entire expenditure of the Supreme Court is charged upon Consolidated Fund of India. Along with this, the independence is secured by clearly providing the procedure for appointment as well as removal. So, this is how the independence of Indian judiciary is secured. So, obviously, the answer is the first option. A. All right. So, coming to the second question. Constitutional government means, the question is on, the constitutional government means. So, what is a constitutional government is? Right. So, you can find this answer directly in any of the polity textbooks, particularly in NCRTs. So, let me read the options. A representative government of a nation with a federal structure, a government whose head enjoys nominal powers, a government whose head enjoys nominal powers, a government limited by the terms of constitution. So, which of them, which of them? determines a constitutional government. So, here there is a mistake. It is a government whose head enjoys real powers. So, these are the four options. So, constitutional government means, right? So, first option represents, right, a, a, a federal nation. Second option represents, right, a parliamentary system of government, it is a future of parliamentary system of government, right? So, both second and third, that both B and C represents a future of parliamentary system of government. And coming to third one, a government limited by terms of constitution. So, constitutional government means a nation where there is supremacy of constitution, Right? A nation where the constitution acts as source of power and authority for every organ of the state including the government. So, constitutional government means right, a government which is limited by the constitution. So, answer is D. Right? So, this is a basic question but uh, it requires a simple and clear understanding of each and every word asked in the question. So, this is about the second question. Coming to a third question. What was the exact constitutional status of India on 
26 जनवरी 1950 व्हाट इज द एग्जैक्ट स्टेटस ऑफ इंडिया द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल स्टेटस ऑफ इंडिया ऑन 26 जनवरी 1950 सो बाय द कमेंसमेंट ऑफ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ इंडिया सो व्हाट इज इंडिया इज सो वी कैन नो द नेचर ऑफ द नेशन बाय सीइंग द प्रीआम्बल सो व्हाट डज आवर प्रीआम्बल सेस राइट प्रीआम्बल एज ऑन 26 जनवरी 1950 अ डेमोक्रेटिक रिपब्लिक अ सावरिन डेमोक्रेटिक रिपब्लिक अ सावरिन सेक्युलर डेमोक्रेटिक रिपब्लिक अ सावरिन सोशलिस्ट सेक्युलर डेमोक्रेटिक रिपब्लिक सो वी ऑल नो दैट द वर्ड्स लाइक सोशलिस्टिक द वर्ड ऑफ सेक्युलरिज्म वाज एडेड टू कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन वाज एडेड टू प्रीआम्बल इन 1976 बाय 42nd amendment that means so we should eliminate this uh, options which have the words of both socialism as well as secularism right so option c we can eliminate because it says that it is secular option d socialistic and secular so we can eliminate both these right and the status of india as on 26 january 1915 is india is declared as a sovereign democratic republic nation so the status of india is it is sovereign nation it is sovereign democratic and republic so the answer is b right so this is what the some of the questions asked previously in upsc prelims on polity and when you look at these questions these questions are very simple they are direct and they are at the basic level so just try to see the kind of questions being asked in prelims exam i hope this uh, session is useful for your prelims exam all the best thank you